All righty. Well, May 3rd is a national holiday in Poland. It's the day the country celebrates the adoption of the Polish Constitution, one of the oldest in Europe. And while parades and celebrations are currently taking place in Poland, there's a hidden jewel right here in Metro Detroit that celebrates the culture year round and has done so for more than five decades. April Morton gives us a closer look. While walking by the Polish Art Center in Hamtramck, chances are your curiosity will peak. And when you walk inside, you'll quickly realize this place is pretty amazing. And owner Joan Bittner explains how it's gone from a store to a tourist destination. Here's what happened when she contacted AAA some years ago. We called them and said, you need to have us in your tour book. And they said, we don't have stores in our tour book. And I said, but you have Bronner's. And they said, but that's more than a store. And I said, but you haven't even been here. So they came. We're in their book. And their brochures, she says, are even at Detroit's Metro Airport, making their center one of the must-sees while visiting Metro Detroit. In their 50 years of business, they've seen visitors from all over. We had a gentleman who came from Tennessee and uh, then he went back to Tennessee the next day. We had two ladies who came in from, from uh, Chicago and they spent like three hours here and they said, oh, we have to get going. And I said, well, why? She said, well, we're going back tonight. I said, you're not gonna stop for anything else? She said, no, we came just for your store. Of course, a visit to Hamtramck is much closer than Poland. And Joan says if you don't get the pleasure of making that trip, no worries. They have it all right here. See stuff from the south of Poland, uh, the north of Poland, and the folk art from all over. The Polish candies, all different kinds. Um, we have the amber jewelry is huge. We have the food items, the pickles, of course you have to have pickles, and the Polish mushrooms. Polish mushrooms are very special. They even have postcards and Polish greeting cards. And one of their most popular historic items here is the Polish art design eggs. They not only have thousands for sale with some straight out of Poland, they hold design workshops that teaches the tradition and the meaning behind it. This is the art of pisanki, which is uh, comes from the root word pisach, which means to write. So we're actually going to write on a raw chicken egg with a tool called a kistka. This is basically a funnel tool that we're going to warm, and then we're going to load with pure beeswax. The beeswax will then blacken, making it easier to see the lines. Now we write, and as we do so, the wax will dry instantly. Every line and symbol we create has a meaning. There's our first symbol, which is the line of eternity, a line with no beginning and no end. After getting the gist of warming and dipping my tool, Michelle walked me through the process, one that usually takes about three hours, but will speed things up a bit. She also gave me the history of the ancient Polish folk art. In springtime, this was a pagan rite of spring. So when things start to come to life again, these would be you know, these people had chickens and they had, um, maybe their neighbor had bees, so they were able to get the wax. And everything written on the eggs were hopes and wishes for the season. After giving it the first of three dyes, I decided to put flowers on mine for growth in a deer symbol. Deer is the symbol of wealth. Um, you've got pine needles for good health. After each dye, what you draw afterwards takes on that color. My egg wasn't quite ready yet, but to finish out the process, after the final color, the wax is burned off the egg, revealing a beautiful shine. The yolk is then drained. This is a design Michelle made just before our workshop. So everything trapped on this egg are now eternal wishes. You've got strength, you've got protection, Oh Those designs are amazing. It's, it's, it's unbelievable what you can do with an egg. So here's my design. You can just do a close up there. And, you know, people here were kind of impressed with this. But um, actually, this, <laughs> we were like, Ooh. This, this is like chicken scratch in comparison to like what Michelle did there and what some of these people do. So this is just some little doodling I did on, on this egg. But just the fact that this is an actual egg. Yeah, and, and it's so it fragile, and yeah, and you can do, it's, it is amazing. 
And, and I so, love how every, all the symbols mean something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the deer symbol that I did, she says it means wealth. So let's, let's see. <laughs> let's get that. Let's out. see. I said, um, I'm definitely going to do that. So um, let's put it out there in the universe. All right. <laughs> well, no, this is awesome, April. That's mm -hmm. so cool. All right. Thank you, of course. Yeah, That's so of cool. Course. All right.